happy new year to you all. I hope you all had an amazing time saying goodbye to 2013 and that you're having an even better 2014 already. I had an amazing New Year's Eve and just general Christmas holiday at home. It was lovely. Um, but now I am back to work, back to Chelmsford and back with a new year, new me haircut, which is quite exciting. I basically decided that I wanted to go for the chop, so I got a nice kind of like blunt bob um, and had my ombre put back through kind of coming out to the blonde here and I just really love it, it feels so much more kind of healthy and voluminous and everything already and uh, I think the colour, I don't know, it's just a bit more like sophisticated maybe, I don't know but if you want to know more about my hair then I have done a whole blog post on it with lots of photos that I made my boyfriend take of me in the garden, lucky him so I will link that in the bar below for you to check out and I will also link um, my kind of like 2013 highlights, 2014 resolutions for any of you that like that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, those will be below as well because I've done a blog post on them. So moving on to today's video, it's going to be my 2013 favourites. But rather than doing kind of every category, um, which I probably would be here till Christmas doing, um, I'm just going to do my 13 favourites of 2013. Because last year I did my 12 favourites of 2012 um, and I really enjoy kind of just picking those exact few things that have made it into such a small list. And um, so yeah, I've got... Skincare, hair care, makeup, body care, everything care. It's just been so hard to narrow it down, but you know that if there is a product in this video, I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, let's see what is in the lineup. I'm going to kick things off with the makeup that I was loving last year and let's not beat you around the bush, the first piece of makeup has to be the Collection A Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is a concealer like no other and probably my I don't know, holy, 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 holy grail piece of makeup ever. That makes no sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. It's a creamy concealer that is very high coverage, so it will kind of cover anything from like blemishes to redness to open pores, um, but also won't look kind of cakey um, and kind of like they've got loads of makeup on while you're doing it. So it's just absolutely perfect, amazing for touch ups throughout the day. I always have one of these on me. If I think this is about to run out, I will dash the boots and buy like three more. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but I absolutely love this. And it only comes in at £4.19 or something ridiculous. So there's really no excuse not to have this. And I am shade light too. So yeah, absolutely love that all year, every year, um, it'll probably be in next year's favourites, just a heads up, but there you go. Um, another thing that I've loved for a long time, but I don't give near enough enough, but I don't give near enough love to, is the Bourgeois Chocolate Bronzer. Now we all know it's not called the Chocolate Bronzer, Ooh, literally I'm sorry, it is late and I'm tired. Um, it's got a French name, but I'm not going to pronounce that, but essentially it is a bronzer that looks and smells like chocolate. It does still kind of smell like chocolate as well after about, I don't know, God knows, like two, three years of having it. Is that even safe to have makeup that long? Probably. Um, so anyway, this is a gorgeous bronzer. I absolutely love the finish because it's kind of like in between matte and shimmer, so it looks really pretty and subtle on the skin. And I just think you can't really go wrong with this because the shade is quite like, it's not too orange, not too brown. It's just like perfect in the middle. And you can use this for contouring or all round bronzing and I use it all year round pretty much every day for like both of those things. And it comes in at about £8 so yeah you really can't go wrong with that and I absolutely love it and I've never found a bronzer that I love more than that one. So sticking with complexion pieces, another thing that really impressed me last year was kind of a new find and it was the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. Now this is a kind of creamy stick thingy and it's like that and what I tend to do is pop this on my cheekbones, under my eyebrows, sometimes down the centre of my nose as well um, and on the cupid's bow a little bit and it's just so 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 pretty. So um, yeah basically I bought this because Millie Mac loves it and I love Millie Mac and I also love Millie Mac skin, it's so glowy and gorgeous and I love a bit of glow um, and this is just the quickest way of getting the glow on 
uh, and I think it does look quite natural as well, it doesn't look too overdone, you don't look like a glitter ball, Edward Cullen, all of these bonuses this gives you, um, basically it's just gorgeous and creamy and it's also kind of like soft focus, it's almost like you've got a soft box light on you the whole time or you've got like an Instagram filter on you, it kind of just softens your features out, so yeah that is beautiful and it also has a little spongy thing here so you can blend it out, so it's super super quick as well, especially in the morning and stuff, you can always have time for that. So let's move on to eye makeup now. I love my eye makeup so it's no wonder that last year I was loving several different eye products and they've all made it into this lineup. First of all I'm going to start with some colour and it's going to be the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze. Now this is kind of like a cult favourite and with very good reason. It's the most gorgeous, okay I'm not even sure you can see what colour it is because I've not even, I'm not only like hit pan but also hit like all of the pan so I just have a bit of a ring around it to use now but that just shows how much I love it. It's the most gorgeous kind of taupey bronze colour. It suits so many skin tones and I always wear it all around my eyes and it's just so pretty. It goes with like every season, every outfit and I just love it and it really does last all day. Like you do not need to worry about topping out your makeup when you're wearing this. Um, yeah, it's just the perfect eyeshadow and also looks great on its own so you don't need to worry about like contouring and like adding loads of layers and stuff when you've got this one. It's a great lazy girl um, eyeshadow that one. And if you're a bit more of kind of an intricate eyeshadow person then you're like my next favourite which is the Naked 2 palette. Now this might seem a bit of kind of a blogger cliche but I just couldn't leave it out because I take this with me wherever I go. So I spend quite a lot of my time travelling between high and my boyfriends and here and this always comes with me. And that is just because the shades are... oh. Okay, the brush has gone, oh well. And the shades are just absolutely perfect. So you've kind of got your everyday neutral eye, your berry shades, your evening smoky eye, your bronze eye for like the summer, like everything's covered here. And you don't need to carry loads of palettes and eyeshadows around with you. You can just carry this and like you can create every look with it. And the eyeshadows are like really good quality. Obviously it's Urban Decay. Um, if you're worried about spending, what is it, like £35 on this, don't be, because I got this for Valentine's Day, God knows, like two, three years ago, and I have not hit pan on anything yet, and I use it pretty much every day. So yeah, you need to have a naked palette in your life, and I would recommend this one. That's just what I'm saying. So I think, last but not least, on the full-on makeup front, Full on, that will make sense in a second. We have a lipstick, and I wanted to choose just one lipstick of 2013, and that was so difficult because I just love lip tricks. Lip sticks. Okay, so it is Kate Moss 107, and that probably won't be much of a shock. It's such kind of a cult favourite, but it's just so, so gorgeous. It is the most pigmented thing in life. There you go, ridiculously pigmented. A gorgeous matte finish, I just, just think looks really kind of like, I don't know, cool and edgy. It's kind of better, I think, than maybe glossy or, you know, different finishes. Like I just prefer the matte finish. Um, beautiful colour and it lasts all day and, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, this lipstick apart from the fact that I wear it all year round as well. Most lipsticks I'll say for like the summer or the winter. But this one I wear all year round, which is why it had to be my ultimate lipstick of 2013. And again, it's like £5 something from the drugstore, so it's an absolute bargain. Moving on a bit from makeup now to kind of tools, nails, hair, skin, body, etc. And um, first up we have my ultimate makeup brush of 2013. And this is going to be controversial because in fact it is not a Real Techniques one, it is... An Eco Tools one, and I was kind of looking through all my brushes, thinking, right, what is my ultimate brush of 2013? And I was going to go for the Expert Face Brush, the Stippling Brush, anything, but actually, this one, this one has been with me for a while now, and it's the Eco Tools Powder Brush. I think it was the first makeup brush I bought properly when I've been into like blogging and everything, and yeah, I just think it's the one thing that I never take out my makeup bag. I kind of switch up what I put my front of my what I put my foundation on with, but I never change this. So I use this for powder, I kind of like dip it in and then 
dab it on like that. I also use it for blusher, for powder blush, it's absolutely perfect size for that. And then I also started using it for contouring because you can kind of get in the contours with this little kind of dip shape and then kind of bring it out on the cheekbones. Like I just think it's the perfect kind of all round powder brush, not just for kind of face powder, just for cheeks as well. Like it's amazing. And again, you can buy this from Boots for under £10. And as much as I love you Real Techniques, this is my all rounder for 2013. Okay, so another tough decision was which nail polish to wear, and obviously, along with lips, nail polishes are something that any beauty obsessed girl changes like a ridiculous obsessive amount, and um, so it was difficult, but there was one nail polish that I bought in the summer and wore basically till it ran out without any breaks of any other colour, and that was... Essie Fiji and this is another one that everyone loves and it may be a bit of a cliche but I don't care because I've just worn it so much that I can barely I think I actually need to buy another pot it's so gloopy only because I've worn it so much and there's barely anything left so it's kind of like a really really pale pink and I can't really decide why I even like it that much but I think against tanned fingers this looks just stunning like it looks so pretty I'm not wearing it so much at the moment because I'm not as tanned however I did try and wear it like well into kind of like autumn because I just couldn't say goodbye to it um, I think it as well goes with every lip colour so sometimes if I'm wearing a red on my fingernails I think oh I can't wear like a pink on my lips um, and like all of that kind of thing but if I'm wearing this on my fingers I think it kind of goes with any lip colour so I just think it's great especially if you're kind of going away on holiday and you're not quite sure what looks you're going to go for just pop this on your fingers and your toes it's amazing on tanned toes um, and you won't look back and also because it's Essie the formula is amazing the finish is amazing lasting power is amazing oh I just cannot get over that one so now we're going to move on to the more hair care skincare body care starting with skincare and this is another favourite of most people and it is the Bioderma now this wasn't actually gonna make it at all because I hadn't bought this since I think about October when it ran out and I decided okay actually I've used Bioderma for ages to take my makeup off I want to look for some other options so I've done the rounds of boots and the rounds of kind of different websites like that looking for alternatives I've tried the L'Oreal micellar water I've tried cleansing oils but I've come full circle right back to my favorite and that's because this is basically just like water that has amazing properties it just melts your makeup off your face and I'm actually going to do I think my um, evening skincare routine after this so stay tuned to see how I use this but it's amazing for heavy eye makeup remover and for all over your skin it never breaks me out and um it may be a little bit hard to come across, so you have to get it from like Amazon or I think somewhere in like London does it, but I'm not quite sure where, uh, and eBay. Um, but I mean, I just ordered two bottles and they'll keep me going for ages, it doesn't seem to go down that quickly. So yeah, I absolutely love this and it's just such a fuss free way of getting your makeup off. So that is all for skincare, because I'm not massive on my skincare, but I'm going to try and get better in 20. 14. Uh, but body care, there's another thing I have loved all year and for many years before that and that is the Soap and Glory Body Butter. Now this is a little mini tub. Oof. I always seem to have the miniature tubs because I can just kind of carry them around me when I'm travelling. And this just smells like heaven. It's got, hmm, uh, I think it's shea butter, marshmallow, um, almond, Oh, all of those things in it and it's just so softening it just makes your skin feel heavenly smooth and soft and yeah it's great for moisturising as well kind of gets rid of any dry skin and as I said it smells incredible so sometimes instead of perfume I'll kind of like dab this on just all round and just kind of waft lovely soap and glory smells so yeah this is definitely a must have handbag product, desktop product dressing table product, everything product, that is just the best body butter. So we are coming down to the final two now, exciting stuff. So I'm going to finish with some hair care. And the first one is a shampoo. And shampoo doesn't seem that exciting, but it is when it's a purple one. And this is so purple. And when I first put it on, I was pretty worried that my hair was going to go purple. 
but luckily it didn't. This has been my godsend through all of my blonde hair moments because basically when you have blonde hair it's really really hard to keep it blonde. It tends to go orange, brassy, dull and this just brightens it right back up again because it's a toning shampoo and even now when I'm a lot more kind of brunette I'm going to put this on anyway because it's going to make my hair lovely and ashy and keep my ends nice and fresh and this is like I don't know, £3 something from Savers, it's amazing and it is the best toning shampoo I've ever tried so um, if you're a blondie then definitely go and get yourself this. Now I think I've come down to my last favourite of 2013 and I haven't really saved a very exciting one however I don't think many people know about this one so maybe that's a good one to bring out and it is the Tresemme Curl Defining Mousse. Now most people might think um, a mousse is quite dated or like something, I don't know, you know when ladies have their hair kind of set in like permed waves, that's the kind of thing they use. But actually this, if your hair struggles to hold a curl, or you wear your hair curly at all the time, like I tend to have my hair kind of beachy at the ends, then you need to get this. All I do is I um, straighten my hair after washing it, and then I'll put like maybe a couple of curls through it with uh, a wand or something, and then put this in my hand and scrunch it in like this. And then voila, like it just makes your hair all lovely and beachy and it makes it last all day and really defines the curls in a way that hairspray and other mousses just don't. This really does like enhance and help them um, and I think it's an amazing product. So yeah, absolutely love that. And that I believe is my 13 favourites of 2013. I really hope there were 13 there. I had a bit of an error earlier when I sat down and I only counted 12. Oh my god guys, that was actually only 12 things. I'm such an idiot, but I was literally counting like that is definitely 12 things. So yeah, I found my 13th thing and I'm going to chuck it in right now. So, <laughs> last but not least, we actually have the Maybelline Master Smoky Shadow Pencil. And this has just revolutionised my eyelining life. It makes it so much quicker, so much easier and so much more natural. So basically, this is a pencil like that, quite a, like a chunky pencil with a smudger on the end and what I like to do, I haven't got it on today so that's a bit, oh dear, but oh well, um, I normally pop it around the outer corners of my eyes and blend out and that is it, you can wear it alone with eyeshadow, really like smudge it up for a really smoky eye or keep it nice and subtle, I just think it's so, so quick and easy and it's great if you're working because sometimes getting the perfect cat eye is not what you want to be doing at like 6 in the morning, so yeah, this is an amazing eyeliner and it's really converted me back to pencil eyeliner, so that actually is my um, 13 favourites all done. I just about did count that right, so really sorry about the little error. Um, again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, please check out all my social media links below and have a wonderful day and start to your year. Bye guys! There's a remote, let's put it down. Bye guys! Please forgive me, I'm very tired. <laughs>